What's up ladies and gents and welcome back to Bertato Monsters Top Plays Teamwork Edition. In this episode you can expect to see a wide variety of plays ranging from intense small scale battles to full on explosive team fights. so without further ado, let's dive into our first play. At the start we see Mumu running away as the clutch bandage toss over the wall gets him out of a sticky situation. As he makes his way through the enemy jungle we see Kha'Zix give up and turn around but a much more persistent Fiddlesticks keeps snooping around. Amumu sets up a trap with the friendly twist of fate baiting Fiddles in just to turn on him with a bandage toss into gold car combo not allowing a split second in between. Deciding to play it risky they move in to steal the blue buff as we see the enemy Kha'Zix and Blitzcrank moving in fast to contest it. TF gets the blue as he gets hooked in and now it's a race to see which carry will die first between Kha'Zix and Twisted Fate. Despite the exhaust and raw damage on the red side, the bandage toss the gold card CC chain is superior and drops the bug quickly without any chance of counterplay. Blitz turns around because his Q is coming back up and goes on the hunt for Twisted Fate. All of a sudden TF emerges with the gold card and then Amumu comes flying in from over the wall grabbing them their third kill. Out of nowhere Ezreal comes in and almost kills Twisted Fate but a nice Anius keeps him alive for now as he plans his escape. He flashes away and Amumu body blocks the mystic shot into a bandage sauce and then, you guessed it, another gold card to allow for their fourth kill in this spree. Moving along into our second play, we switch focus from a battle in the jungle and bring it down to bot lane for a classic AD carry and support versus the world. At the beginning we see Nocturne get caught out as Condemn and Tidal Wave are used to try and help but he goes down anyways. Leona tries to catch Vayne but a great tumble dodges the solar flare as Vayne kites back and away from Leona but she gets the stun off as Vayne goes in Viz allowing her to take zero damage. Now they turn the heat with an exhaust on Kaelin but the enemy TF steps too close and Vayne goes for it using Nami's passive, her passive and Ty Collar's blessing to get the kill. Vayne tumbles away and pops barrier forcing Leona to flash away as the enemy bot lane retreats and they chase aggressively. All of a sudden Caitlyn lands a devastating Q but Vayne tumbles and life steals into a condemn for the double and then she dodges Zenith Blade while getting healed and buffed again by Nami, getting them the triple. Perfect synergy in fighting as well as synergy in champion spells come together beautifully to make this play happen. And for our third and final play we have an explosive team fight formulated from a Baron dance. At the start we see the enemy Imumu engage on Jarvan as the tanks duel it out and we see everyone on both teams positioning for a fight. J4 is looking for a chance to go in and when Ezreal stacks on Nidalee he goes for the EQ and we freeze it. He comes crashing down with a cataclysm on all 5 members of the enemy team, locking them in and perfectly setting up the rest of his team for the wombo. While this is happening we see Malphite rushing in with unstoppable force to further CC the enemy team but he's also bringing in Orianna's ball to allow for an easy follow up shockwave. The rest of his team are all moving in fast to position for the aftermath as we head back into the play to let it all unfold. The EQ from Jarvan into Cataclysm Unstoppable Force and Command Shockwave blow up 4 members of the enemy team and then blue team hunts down Ezreal eventually picking up the ace. Crisp engage from the tanks to group up and lock up the enemy team allow the carries of blue team to pump tons of damage into this fight without any chance of a counter attack. Thanks again everyone for watching and don't forget to submit any teamwork oriented plays to us for a chance to be featured in the next episode of our top plays teamwork edition.